Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create custom header in uh, Shopify. Now there are two processes of creating that and I'm going to be showing you both. We have the easy way and then we have the code way where we use the code and I'm going to be demonstrating both. Now, so to begin with, as you can see here, I'm on my Shopify store. You simply come to the left hand side online store and you click on that. Once that loads, you notice you have your own theme here, more of a default theme. And the good thing with uh, using themes in Shopify is that you can now currently use it on Dawn, which is a very current theme for uh, being used in Shopify. So after clicking on online store, then you click on themes. The first way that you can create a custom header is simply to use the code. So you simply come here and click on those three dots. Then you click on edit code and you come to this side and click on password liquid. We have the theme liquid and the password liquid. So we have all these other templates. If you click on password liquid, it loads this data more of a command center more of coding which you have to scroll all the way down until the place you'll find the header and for this process to be complete what you'll need is for this process to be complete what you'll need is to have the code that you want to paste which might be quite a hard way of doing it so if you do not have the code, then here is the easier way to do it. You can simply come back. Let's go back home. We are on themes and then you click on customize. So you notice here we have the default header and then if you scroll down, you notice we'll have the default footer and all the other settings. So for you to edit that, you simply click on the second item here. So here we have the header selected there. Then you click on theme settings. Once that is done, you can now change all these variants in your header. So let's create a sample header. So we begin with our logo. You click on logo. You notice it gives you a chance to select an image. So you click on select image and we don't have any images yet, so we are going to upload an image. And then I select the image that I want. For instance, I want to use this image from JoshNet logo. I open that. The image is uploading and it is uploaded. Once that is done, I click done. You give it time to load. And there we have our image already added. So you notice we already have our header here with our logo already added. And there's a lot more that you can do with this logo. You can change this logo. You can decide on the width. So if I drag this to let's say 150 and I give it time to load, you will notice that the width of the header has increased. So if I reduce it, you notice what will happen. You notice now the width of the header has reduced. Now, down here, we have the colors. And of course, we can also choose the favicon image and you can explore the free images. In this case, let's just explore the free images that are available. And they are grouped into star favorites, local, women's fashion, and all that. So once you click on any, you will be able to access let's access the star favorites so you can select one of the free images down here so let's not select any one of them for now the next thing we can also do to our header we can choose the colors i click on colors and then we have all this we have the primary colors we have the accent one and all this so changes have been saved so that we don't lose anything. So 
The next thing we can also adjust is the layout. So we have the typography here. You can change the font and how regular it is. And then we can also change the layout. That is the space width, the grid, and the horizontal. Now, if I click on this catalog, it adds the products here. So let's come back to the header. We click on the header. You also notice we can decide to hide our header by clicking on these three dots. And then if we click on hide, our header is hidden. To reveal it, you simply click and again, click on show so that now our header is revealed. You can decide where your header will be located here. For instance, in this case, it's in the middle left. Other things we can adjust is the announcement bar. Here, if I click on that, then I click on the announcement bar here. I can also hide it or unhide it. Here it has the custom message, welcome to our store. And now here, I can decide what to write. For instance, let me say, welcome to Joshnet store. Then I decide where it is, should be at the center in this case. Then I can choose the background color. Maybe let me choose background too. You notice that change. So now we have our header here, Joshnet, and welcome to Joshnet store. We can also paste a link here for any of the pages we have or blogs and that will also be added. Another thing you can do, you can add a section to your header. So you simply come and click here on add section and then you can type the section that you want to add. You can also change your menu by simply coming to the header and clicking on main menu here. Then you can click on change. You can remove the menu or you can add. So you can adjust it here under desktop menu type. It can be mega menu or drawer. You can also change it to sticky on scroll up. Now, if I change that always and then I scroll, you look at my header, what will happen? If I scroll, my header remains even after I scroll. So that's one way of setting it. If now I set it to none and then I scroll, my header disappears. So that is another way you can set your header. You can also decide to adjust your background to background too. You just see how that looks like. You see it's now a darker background. Then you can also make your settings for the mobile layout. When someone is accessing through the mobile, you can decide it to be at the center or on the left. And then the spacing, just like we have done for the desktop. So basically, that is how you create a custom header in uh, Shopify. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like our video, subscribe and share.